Okay, all comb combatants act in turns and their order is determined by initiative roll. The orders of turns is displayed on the left side of the screen from bottom to top. The character at the very bottom goes first, then uh, the, the one above. The okay, okay, so like this. Boom, 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 boom. Got it. Start the battle. I hope we don't die. Kill them! Wow, there's a bunch. Wait, there's only three of us? Oh, okay, that there are like one hit, mm, one hit endies. Okay, that's cool. I'll brush this off. Cover. Use cover to avoid. Ooh, this is like, wow! Look at that. This is like XCOM. Cover that a uh, cover that a character can hide hide behind are marked with a shield or a shield with a skull. When standing close to them, the character will automatically take up an advantage advantageous position. In this case, the chance that enemy attacks will hit the cover and not the character behind them increases. The character will not receive a bonus effect attack from a side not protected by their current. Co oh wow, yeah, it's like it's like XCOM. Okay, and Irene is gonna go into hiding. Sorry. So I see she automatically goes into hiding. Now we can shoot from here. 9 to 14. 12 to 19. This is ours. 9 to 14. Okay, let's attack the closest one. The heretic. Oh, those are heretics. Okay. Her heretic cutthroat. Let's go. No, maybe I should do this first. Analyze enemies. I hope that did something. <gasps> Ooh! Now, after analyzing, the damage is 13 to 21. Hello? On it. <laughs> Another enemy down. Ooh, nice. She, see, she stepped out, one shot at this person, and went back to cover. The character has just landed a critical hit that deals increased damage equal to the character's critical damage stat. Hell yeah. Okay, now we wait. We don't have any more points to spend. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Mort. Damn, Theodora is powerful. Ah! Stop jumping from <laughs> from one to another. Uh, just a minor setback. Yeah, just a flesh wound. Your character has received a temporary positive effect from an ally. Such effects enhance your character's cap capabilities in combat in some way. To learn more about the effect you have gained, hover your cursor over the effects icon next to the character's portrait. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, kill them. All right. We got, so we got this one. Oh, it's like a buff. It's like a buff. Um, so what? Let's finish this guy. I'll make it happen. Blech. That didn't look like we did anything. Analyze enemies. Let's do surefire. I still don't know what that does. It's as good as done. It's as good as done. Uh, you know what? I, I'm I'm unsure, so I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. Oh, this guy is so evasive. Oh, nobody, no, nobody can hit him. Perry. We are good. I took care of this one. We're checking We're out the the rogue trader. And you know and you know and you know I'm liking it so much. We're just at the the beginning of the game. Just in, still in the um, in the tutorial, but I'm gonna be playing this. Ooh, okay, thirteen to twenty-one. Let's do this. What's this? Momentum. 
combat resources required for using the unique abil abilities called heroic acts and desperate measures. Oh, okay. This is this bar here. I'll see to it personally. Oh my god. On it. So you walk, <clears throat> you move, sorry, you move at the beginning of the combat. If you don't move, if you start, okay, if you start shooting, then you lose your movement points. Uh, waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you and clear the path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse survive. The rogue trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, hmm? Not bad. I've seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. She looks at the vox in her hand. All you can hear is lifeless static. What's happening? The incident with the rampa rampaging servitors might be connected to what's transporting now. transpiring now. What are your orders? What is happening? Uh, Abel Abelard. From what we have seen, Irene, I can speculate that we are dealing with some variety of madness induced by warp travel. Such episodes are not uncommon among voidsmen who have found themselves outside the boundaries of real space. Though uh, such episodes seldom spill onto the wait. How did the heretics get on the ship? That's the question. How, do, do they? Do you just like walk into the ship that is space traveling? What is that? Through the heretic door! No! No, seriously. Like, how did that happen? The casters are not working or have been sabotaged. Either the warp is toying with us or someone went to great, great lengths to cut the ship's communications. I will need a direct channel to the engine. Engine seer. Engine seer. Tech priest, Engenseer. I don't know, Engenseer, Engenseer, uh, whose specialization specialization is the maintenance and repair of sacred machines. Engenseer, uh, before uh, uh, Engenseer Prime, before I can get a sense of what we are up against, whatever it may be, keep your weapons at the ready. I imagine it will be t some time before we no longer need them. How could there be armed people? Yes, in the ranks. Oh, they were in the ranks of the crew who would dare to attack the Lord Captain. Trust me, Nairene, this is hardly a surprising for a, crew, for a crew of thousands. The lower decks are a fertile environment for di dis discontent and heresy, no matter how one tries to incinerate any seed before it can take root. All it takes is a hint of warp influence to cloud the minds of normally obedient cattle. The incident with the rampaging servitors may be connected. Possibly, quite like likely, Winces inflicts the switch of her vox a few times. We will investigate at a later time. Right now, we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assess the situation. What are your orders? She breaks eye contact with you. Mord has gone on ahead to clear path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Ark Militant requires aid. And be quick about it. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Um, so what? We're alone. No, we don't have her in our party. So where are we going? This way? Always keep your eye on the prize. Always keep your eye on the prize. No, I don't think so. As you wish, Lady Theodora. Yeah, I'm always lost. I never know where to go. Rise to the top or get left in the Because dust. there's no quest marker! Because I am lost without quest markers. I'm sorry, Deccan Forester. I think I'm going in the right direction. Relatable. Okay, Kunrad um, lets out a sight of relief, a relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence, you're alive and well. Damn, I wish all of those were um, were voiced. Like the only thing I would love to improve about the Pathfinder games and this is that the 
there would be voice lines. I think when they release... Um, no, 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 wait. I think when they release the... What's it called? What's it called? Edition? The... the ex um, en enhanced edition, right? What's it called? They add uh, way more voice lines that at the beginning. Of, um, right? I mean, it's... Okay. When you're playing on your own, it's okay. But when you're streaming, having to read everything out loud is kind of, uh, you know, difficult. Mord, always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could get, you could set your chrono by it. Okay, Conrad is the, is the, is the culprit. He is the traitor. He is the heretic. Mord, pull yourself together. <laughs> Pointedly looks away from the arc militant to you. I think it's the same with uh, with the Pathfinder games. Not all the lines are voiced. There's like lots of reading to do. It's just how these games are. Uh, what? Did the Lord Captain send you to Chivy Chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Pulls his box from the belt and hurriedly reports to the station. A master of whispers. What is happening on my ship? The Vox Nep is mep, nep, net. The Vox Net is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assail assailants, assailants, assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arc militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report! I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any uh, Geller field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Uh, whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and only Vox Cas from the lower bays are uh, one way her heretical gibberish. Pauses. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. These guys behind it! I just know it! It's him! Mutiny? But who would attempt a mutiny here in the warp? A mutiny against the Emperor's uh, anointed? Anointed? Excuse the tr uh, execute the traitors, every last of them. We must provide immediate assistance to those still in the middle of de uh, in the middle decks. Perhaps then we might stop this way from spreading. If this is indeed a severe case of word madness, the situation is dire. Okay, let's act, not talk. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure, and I have the means to do both things at once. Her expression changes as her eyes flash ominously. Looks at uh Oh my god, this is such a difficult name to read. Vyogtvir. Voigtvir. Like void. Voigtvir. Like void. Okay. Edelthard. Where is he? I must know if he's unharmed. A psyker abroad the ship ha that has that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the deck... Oh, uh, but the last thing uh, I know about his movements is that he arrived on tr transitional deck 18. Blasted. Master of Whispers. Find Edelthrod immediately. Sanna shall locate Lass and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arc Militant with me. I must go to my study. And it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Nyrene glances at you thoroughly. If I may, Lord Captain. His voice is soft and cautious. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance. And if our goal is to bring Etheril back... I don't throw it back. I could use some support. After all, I am not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed Arc Militant, and taken into consideration and will throw psych powers. Okay, I guess he's taking me with him. 
Then it's settled, Nyrene. Find Eddie and bring him here, in whatever state you find him. This elevator, she points at the massive doors, leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. <coughs> bridge, sorry. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? In whatever state? What does that mean? I hear and obey, Lord Captain. I shall do everything in my power. I cannot promise that I won't lose our dearest hair somewhere along the way. <laughs> oh my god, let's say this. Let's say this. I wonder how she reacts. Conrad, keep an eye on our spirited guest. You are personally responsible. <laughs> Mort. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna be the one, the only one, who's gonna take the rogue trader, uh... The rogue trader post. Are, are you ready to head to 18? It's a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. I shall uh, make do, lead the way. I have a preposition. Since I am the more important person here, you can go in front to shield me from potential threats. You had better have not failed me. The Lord Captain made it clear that relying on you is fraught with risk. Okay, the second one. He smiles faintly, certainly. Lady Theodora would be devastated if she were to lose one of her precious, precious heirs. But that is no longer relevant. 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 With a par. Oh, wait, wait. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen, and you are consumed by unbearable, gut wrenching. It is him! Traitor! Heretic! No! They're kidnapping me. I promise you a special destiny, Nyrene. It's time to fulfill it. <gasps> uh, I, I don't mind the flow of the game. I'm used to um, turn-based games. I played a little, uh, like a little bit, a little bit, not a lot of uh, Path of, oh, uh, sorry. Wrath of the Righteous, and I enjoyed it. Mm, I wouldn't say this is a personally for me is a good stream game. This is something that I like to enjoy on my own time, like reading a good book. Completely immersed, you know, candles lit, wine glass in hand, and you're just like nerding out. You know what I mean? Like, I love this. I love this. I mean, that could be a cool streaming game. Uh, hey, don't kick me. For some streams. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. She has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber, and for that, I need her breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. Warrant of tr Okay. What is the meaning of this? Who is this man, Tigan? Voigtvir. You two-faced scum, you are the one behind this mayhem. Like we didn't know, oh my god. Nairene, come on, we knew it. By the way, this is, here is my character's point. I'm covering uh, it for the immersion. Okay, what is the meaning? Who is this Mantigan? You must have hit your head harder than I thought. No matter. Very little is required of you, just your blood. Which you can either share of your own volition. Or I will spill it for you. They need my blood. We are in the anteroom of the war in chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The oh, they can only unlock it with the blood of the, of the um, only rogue one traitor. Only obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the sentinel. An ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. Okay, makes sense. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Why are you doing this? What is it? In bread? Is your blood tooth? Oh! <laughs> oh! Is your blood too thin for the sentinel? Ooh, okay, I, okay I, oh, I'm gonna choose this one. Hold on. I have no intention of helping you. I will help you as long as you spare my life. Will you let me join you? We can take it out. Yeah, well, screw you. What is it? On the contrary, the warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind. Fond for <laughs> The sentinel refused to submit to me. 
But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? Okay, okay. He got he's got the sass too. I mean, he's the master of whispers. Who am I kidding? This is so cool. Like I always wanted to get into Warhammer for 40 k but uh, there was there was never a game that I could really like you know get into. And now that they have an RPG, uh, I, I couldn't be happier. This is amazing news. I am enjoying it. Mm, why are you doing this? Why? Because I am following an order. What is happening on this ship? Oh, right okay. Now end of Act Two. Has been nice. in the making for a very long time. All that remains is to obtain what my master sent me for. Your master? The warrant of trade. Who is your master? I have no intention of helping you. I am afraid that you have no choice in the matter. Try to resist, and I will demonstrate the power that the warp holds over mortals. Come to think of it, I might even take some pleasure in doing so. Romance? <laughs> Romance? Uh, okay, um, no. Um, is Space Marine is what kind of uh, what kind of uh, genre is Space Marine? To the void with you. Okay, we'll do as you require, but I will find a way to make you pay for this filth and a threats. We'll comply with it. No, the vo to the void with you. It's gonna kill me. Oh my God! Skill tests and dialogues. Um. Okay, the blade flashes in the dim light, and drops of blood. Oh, wait, and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning, and then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sourceless voices echo each, uh, echo each other, drowning. E I can't read in these glasses. Drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a singular urge to go the gate go to the gate go to the gate one of the available dialogues options require requires making a skill test unlike with passive tests which are made automatically in this case you can decide whether or not to select an option oh oh the co consequences in this game guys consequences of your dialogue choices you will suffer of, uh, consequences of which will depend on the result of the associated test. Success or failure affects how the dialogue will develop. Depending on the context, you might change the course of the conversation, alter the character's attitude, or perform an action. Ooh, I love this. I love when there's flexibility in the dialogues. I love it. I don't think I've ever seen this, uh, this mechanic before, though. Like, this is something completely new. Over your cursor over the dialogue option that requires a skill test, and you will see a tooltip detailing your chances of success. Uh, the number after the skill's name indicates the, dif the difficulty of the test. Once your character starts traveling with allies, the party members with the highest score and the applicable skill will be selected for each. Oh, okay, okay, so different party members too. Find the voice in your head. Get out! I'm not your puppet! I will do as you require, but I will find it. Okay, get out! The voices in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. You feel this intruding influence forcing you onto your feet and making you take a step toward the gates looming in the center of the chamber. Damn it, didn't work. Uh, I guess we're gonna die. Examine the device. Ooh, do we have enough of tech? It's chance seventy five percent. Oh, our tech use is thirty. Damn. Okay. I mean, it, 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 wait. Okay, so our tech use is thirty, right? Wait, let me see my character. How do I see my character? How do I see my character? I cannot access my character sheet from the dialogue. I think. Uh, but it requires. It requires forty five to work. So if our tech is 30 and this requires 45, so the chance is lowered. Okay, I, I don't know. Press uh, to expand. Um, I guess. I guess. It's like that. Okay, in the gateway arc, you see a Koji... 
cogitator, which is a computer, with human likeness, likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. There is a servitor, an obedient automation created from a lobotomized human being. There. It's alive. The sentinel turns its head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like... Oh my god. They put people into a into a machine into a computer this is crazy this is so wrong examine the device success great success you carefully inspect inspect sorry the design of the gate cogitator what immediately catches your eye is a strange alloy that was used as a material for the machine's components some of which are unfamiliar to you you suspect this might be some kind of uh, Archaeotech relic. Oh, we got experience from this. An incredibly, an incredibly rare and powerful piece of technology from humanity's ancient past. The servitor on the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward closer to you. Its lower jaw opens with a drawn-out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The server's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in dim light. The vid screen to the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols in a green background. Oh no, do I need to put my hand in there or something? But it's a blood test. That's how you get AI. Yeah, that's WK43. Oh, 40k. WK for W40k for you. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after Voidvir uh, wounded you with his blade did not go away. On the contrary, their source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Examine the sentinel, place your hand, look back, look for anything that could be used as a weapon. Okay, examine the sentinel. Noticeably different from the ones that you're used to. Skin covering stitched stitch together with copper thread has metal hinges uh, in places of the standard joints. Seems that the creators of the Sentinel did everything to ensure that the service of life of this unit would be much longer than that of ordinary aut automatons. Automatons. Place your hand. No, wait. Look back. Look for any. Look back. Did you forget something? I suggest you hurry. Uh, look for anything that could be used as a weapon around in hopes of finding at least something that could work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. The chamber um, ante uh, room is completely empty and in, in perfect working condition. Near a broken panel or a protruding piece of uh, rebar inside. Place your hat. Okay, that's the only thing that we were left to do. The sentinel's jaw clamp around your hand puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat and immediately you hear humming as the servo motors start up and the pumps stir into motion. Into motion. The vid screen of the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass, the sentinel's jaws remain closed, and you're beginning to feel sick. Perhaps if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath, maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever ha- High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You don't understand where those quiet voices coming from, cracking like static. Is it the sentinel? The, cogi the, the cogitator? Is it a figment of your weary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Who is this? Yes, yes, I do require assistance. I suppose this is uh, the onset of the warp madness they warned me about. I must have lost my mind. Okay, who's this? Genetic code identified. Child of House von Valencius. Do you require Oh, assistance? damn, yes! Yes, traitors threaten my life and the safety of the warrant. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It would seem the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense oh, protocol. Oh, this is so cool. They they were prepared for this. Oh yeah, Wasteland. Like with the grid. Remember guys, I told you like I remember another game with the grid like that and it was Wasteland. 
there's still another way. Barbecue party. Let's go. Check the warren chamber. Rumors, contact, contracts, quests. Okay. Keep your wits about you. Let it be known that by my will and by the true words of this document, I appoint this person to be the bearer or the warrant. Oh, I got too fast to be the paragon of humanity unbroken by ad adversity, to to triumph over nightmares untold, to hold bold the reins of fate, to walk steadily the road of thorns, and too fast, too furious. Oh. Escort the child of the house to safety. That's me. I'm the child of the house. What madness is happening here? Who are you? Who addresses me? I need to contact someone. Uh, preferably Theodore. I need a weapon. I am utterly defenseless. Okay, what is happening? Who are you? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Okay, uh, Theodora? Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Mm. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Voxmaster, restore the communication with the navigator's sanctum. I am trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and head... Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. I need a weapon. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Hey, it will not answer you. Okay, lead me from here. Middle and upper deck separation of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, Preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Okay, yeah, journal. We'll know what a journal is. Thank you so much. Yep, my fault. Totes. All right, let's. Is there it. money to be made? Is there money to be made? What an opportunist! The Snyrene only cares about the money. Look at that. Uh, it sucks that we couldn't loot anyone. There's so many dead bodies. And no loot. What? What? Oh, okay. Assessing the situation. Void Scully. Am I to follow you? No, I think the Void Scully is stuck here. So let's be on our way. Void Scully. I, I think I need to access my journal, yeah? Uh, seal. Oh, seal the war in chamber. I'm sorry. I always have a backup plan. Oh no, through this thingy. I mean, person. <laughs> Mistress? What? Whatever are you doing in the Warren chamber? How did you. Throne, preserve me. What is the meaning of this? Ay, Kunrad is a traitor, and I told you so. When we parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. How did you find me? Uh, are you with that traitor? Uh, Voigtvir. Voigtvir is the traitor. What? What? <laughs> what? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something, and trying to reach the Warren was some somehow a part of that plan. He's clearly serving the unholy gods of the warp. Okay, the first one. Unholy gods. Oh, holy god emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. <sighs> and, mistress, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Uh, what did I call her? 
Oh, I just said theater. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, sorry, Russian, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Vague Tvir openly admitted that he is the mastermind behind this mutiny. Unquestionably. So it would seem. But he is not here, and we have a mutiny to end. Why don't we leave matters of etiquette for another time? For a mere seneschal, you are asking too many questions. Seneschal. Mere seneschal. Okay, he openly admitted that he is a mastermind behind this mutiny. Saints blood! Then it is small wonder Shut that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. <sighs> At least you are alive and now safe, mistress. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Oh, finally. Sniper rifle, armored body glove, body glove, <laughs> body glove, med kit. <sighs> uh, treating injuries. Well, finding your character can lose some, some other one. Um, your character has suffered an injury after being attacked by Conrad. This happens when the character receives damage that exceeds 50% of the maximum wounds with, within one round. The exact percentage of wounds is a key. Oh, okay. This is a also a new mechanic. A difficulty of the game. Injuries reduce the character's result. Initially suffers an injury. It's considered a fresh injury during the first three rounds. Once three rounds have passed, a fresh injury becomes an old injury. A fresh injury can be healed using a medkit without passing any skill test. Old injuries can be healed with a medkit. Can be... But they require the character administering the treatment to pass a medkit... Medicare... Medicaid! Sorry, Medicaid! Medicaid... No, not a Medicare. Medicaid. The skill is affected by intelligence characteristic. Okay, skill test to succeed. Use medkits to restore uh, wounds and heal injuries. Note that when a character loses all of their wounds, they fall unconscious. To, okay, wounds have been reduced to zero. The character can no longer participate in combat, nor can they be res resuscitated. Resuscitated by any means. Resuscitated. They will regain consciousness after the battle um, and receive a trauma which can uh, be healed by resting on the ship or in certain other places. Okay, okay, like a long rest. Gotcha. Once the combat is over, the wounds of all party members are replenished automatically, but any injuries they may have sus uh, uh, sustained remain. Those can be healed with an, with a medkit. Medkit can only be used by characters who have the field medic feature, base skill Medicare, or have taken Medicaid. Sorry, Medicaid, not Medicare. Uh, skill advancement at least once. Whenever a character uses a medkit in battle, the Medicaid skill test determines the number of wounds that will be restored as a result. Okay. Uh, Abelard can heal your character's injury. Click the leftmost button Abelard's, por Abelard's portrait and select the medkit on the panel at the bottom left of the screen. Then use it on your character. Abelard needs to be standing right next to your character for him to administer to the tree. Okay. Inventory. I've got new item C's. Open it by pressing I. Okay. Okay. Our... <laughs> How was his name? Abel. I, I'm gonna call Sometimes him. You consult the appropriate Argla Blarg. Look, Argla. Argla Blarg is a daddy. Though, Look at him. You just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. Stop talking. Um. All right. Where is the chainsaw? No, 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 no. Don't use your chainsaw on me. Use the medikit on me. Thank you very much. Let me help. I won't forget this. Let me do it for you. If you place it, okay. Find a weapon. We found a weapon. Let's equip it. Oh no, that's not me. Wait. Oh, equip. Ooh, nice sniper rifle. And we got a body glove that adds fifteen percent of armor. Dodge forty-five percent of average enemy attacks in this chapter. Reduces the incoming damage of average en enemy attacks in this chapter by minus ten percent. Okay, let's go. It's like a under undergarment. Um, I don't know how to call it. Yeah, that goes underneath your top uh, armor. 
Oh, what does this guy have? He has a chain sword. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it all. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. Oh my god, are we in a hurry? Like, this uh, this guy's really taking his time with, like, explaining things, mansplaining things. I got it. I got it. What exactly has gone wrong with the translation? How did you find me? What can we expect to find in the Navigator's Sanctum? I heard one of those, uh, what of, oh, sorry, uh, Theodore's Vox cast, uh, sorry, what's her name? Master, Captain, Lord, the uh, Theodora, the, the Almighty. The Navigator's Sanctum, very well, will you lead the way? Yeah, straight to business. For the Imperium and humanity, lead the way, Seneschal. Okay, I heard one of Theodore's was Vox cast. Lady Theodora's. Yeah, Lady Theodora's. Which one? Yeah. The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well, and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all How did you find can. me? Shut up. You sent me a Vox message. <laughs> specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. Oh, you mean to say you did no such thing. Oh, interesting. I think the Warren Sentinel might have sent that message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that Whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the oh, Because I'm special, silly. Because I'm the main character. That's why. You pleb. What exactly has gone wrong with the translation? What can we expect to find in the Navigator's Sanctum? The Navigator said will lead the way. Okay, what exactly has gone with it wrong? I am no helmsman, or oh, God Emperor preserve me navigator. However, I have spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Geller field has faltered. Perhaps the navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. I know, right? That's rude. That's just that's just rude. This is why he's ne never going to get a promotion. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. I want to romance someone already! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm still in the tutorial, I already want to romance. What can we expect to find in the Navigator's Sanctum? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Imperium. And for good reason. For the navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the immaterial. Only a navigator oh, can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. I mean, okay, this is like this is helpful, but before he was just like blabbering uh, instead of you know, instead of moving out. Okay, will you lead the way? I'm under no obligation. No, lead the way. Absolutely. Let us proceed. 
Vox Call. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor, fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home, and with all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox Networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward! Let's go! Oh! There was something, there was a message, but it. Uh oh. It disappeared. The Emperor is with us! Show them no mercy! Oof, okay. Tactical phase uh, during which characters cannot attack or take other actions but may try to take up advantage advantageous positions. Select a character by clicking the left mouse button in their portrait at the top of the screen, then click left mouse button on the cell you want the character to move to. Red cells are areas inaccessible. I mean, we know this. Uh, we fought before, right? It's the same. During the tactical phase, each character in the party may move up to their... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, ne never mind. No, 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 no. This is okay. This is a pre. To take up advantage of point positions. I, did, I didn't. Okay, I missed that. Oh, I love the music. I love the music. Move up to their maximum movement points, but cannot position themselves adjacent to an enemy. Okay. Okay. So, first, before we start the battle, right, we can move. Uh, I guess since I have a sniper rifle, I could move out a little bit or maybe Maybe find cover. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I can't these guys are in front. There's no way to Abelard is gonna be my cover You know what I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's lead him closer, maybe, to one of these people, so that he can start uh, attacking immediately, right? Yeah, Abelar is gonna be here. Me, as a sniper, which I don't want to be, but that's, that's all I have. Uh, oh, no, no, that's... Oh, no, no, I haven't switched characters. Look here, and I'm gonna be over here. No, you know what? No, let's get let's be over here. Yeah. Wait, how to cut through? Here, here. I think I will be able to shoot at least this guy from here. Combat abilities of characters different, uh, different depending on the archetype. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right? We like we know this. I mean this is a good read, but Dead Eye. Single shot. Okay, let's assess assess the situation. Uh da -da 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 -da. Ooh, I can I can actually with my sniper rifle I can shoot all of them. They seem to be uh all the same. All the same. One hit. Uh, uh, no, one hit Andes. This one is not a one hit Andy. This one we're going to assess. Who, if not me? Okay. Now let's do this. Heretic cutthroat. Wait, this one? No, no, no. This, this one. This one has 16 HP. So we're gonna go for that one. Wait, what's the difference again that I shot? Hit chance effective. Okay, yeah. Your end was inevitable. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. They're all melee. Oh my god, poor Abelard. I suffered worse. I suffered worse. Your new companion is a warrior. Specializes in melee combat and drawing the enemy stacks. Enemies attacks. Charge is a unique warrior ability that works only when they're using melee weapon and it's not considered an attack act. Wait, charge is not a considered an attack action. Use charge to close the distance between you and the enemy and deal damage. Click left mouse button the ability I can I mean we're already close. Look. Okay. Charge can only be used if the character is two or more cells away from the target. Melee weapon. Melee attacks require. Okay. 
I know everything. <laughs> I know everything. Uh, so we got the strike, we got the cleave. All creatures with- yeah, okay. That's what we do. That's what we're gonna do. Cleave. I will do my I Death to the traitors. Charge. Can I charge to this guy now? To this guy, okay, let's see. Let's see if we can. Victory is imminent. I attack of opportunity. I mean, that was worth it. Friendly fire. Be careful, companions can get hurt by your burst shots. Oh <gasps> yes, burst shots. I can fall out. Avoid friendly fire. Keep an eye on the trajectory. Okay, okay. Ooh, what's this? Brace of impact. For one round, the navy officer and their allies in a three-cell radius gain deflection. Eh, it's fine. Brace yourself, Avalon. Oh, he's beefy. Look at that. He's literally a walking armor. Okay, let's try not to... Oh, we're doing single shots. We're not doing bursts, right? Right. Dead eye. Dead eye. You never stood a chance. I love the slow mo when they die. This is so cool. See, you even can do a corner like this. Boom, boom, boom. Three targets. Okay, let's go with this. Easy clap. Oh, we cannot do this because there's distance. There's distance between us. It's fine. Parry, deflect. I'll make it happen. Experience points. Okay, nice. GG's. That was easy. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, loot! Loot! Yes! Defeated enemies have no further need for their former belongings, but you can discover valuable trophies among them. Click left mouse button on a defeated enemy to inspect what is left of them. Like, I like how precise the instructions are in the tutorial uh, like for the people who might have never played the classic RPG genre right like this is clear this is they explain very well what to do okay to inventory oh to cargo okay now I'm gonna wait yeah all to inventory right yeah, I don't need to do this. Okay, cargo. Cargo list, cargo. No, just collect all. What's that noise? What is that? Oh, it's the skull. Uh, it's this little guy. What advice do you see? What advice do you see? Oh, we leveled up? That, this is me. That looks like level up to me. Ranks available. Operative. Choose skill. This one. Tech use, logic, awareness, available skill, increased character skill, tech use, logic, awareness. What does the thumb up mean? Lore, lore, Medicare. These get like a bonus or something. Two, logic, awareness, Medicare, lore, Imperium. Let's go with logic. How do I do this? Yeah, like this? Collapse. Okay, chose. Expose weakness. Abilities. That's it. That's all I can do right now. Ranks available. One. Isn't that... Uh... <sighs> no, I just use it like this and I leave it alone. Logic. Rank 2. Complete? Right? That's it? Or I have more ranks available? I don't understand. I guess that's it. Okay, let's do complete. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. I was just confused. I thought I had another another rank available. Gotcha. Oof, this is like, look at this, look at this. A little bit overwhelming, but very cool. Very thorough. Very detailed. Whatever you wish. I know how oh, to take risks. Oh, look, we just looted we just looted one body and it picked up all the loot from from everyone in Let's this room. Let us not do This is so uh convenient.
Oh, the map. So, in map. Here's a map of your void ship. Oh, this is. Imagine a void ship having a map. <laughs> Consists of several parts between each other. Okay. Uh, so, this is where we're going next. Auto saved. Rise to the top. Is there a highlight? The highlight? Is directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the still? god emperor that we are not too late. Oh, forgot. Oh, sweetie. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. I forgot. <laughs> forgot about ya. Uh, carouse. Toughness, cur yes, this one. Bic. Complete. Fate and fortune favor the bold. Oh, this is the person he was talking ah! about. And so she will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Mistress, watch your head. Dark humor, call me intrigued. Idira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. Oh, she was warning us. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing. She seems to be having fun. This is Idira Tlas personal psyker and diviner of her ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Edira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. The entity in your consciousness shrinks and crawls in deeper, its claws scraping against the walls of your mind, as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. And you, you are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. Vox call. You hear a few clicks from the relays on the servo skull, which has followed you all the way here, and Theodora's scramble words gave way to a voice vaguely familiar to you. Officer's frequency. To all who can hear me, those with a weapon in their hands are, are, are together in the officer's deck at once. I repeat, gather on the officer's deck at once. Prepare to launch a counterattack. That's Edelthrat. Oh, Eddie! Providence. The other rail lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not for long. Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelstrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it. You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. How do you know who? I mean, of course she knows. What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen you. I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. Does she see my Google search history too? You flinch at the seer's words. No doubt she's referring to the nightmares, the tortures inflicted upon your body and mind. Your, mus your muscles contract involuntarily as if stealing themselves once more for, in for the inevitable pain. What are you doing here? 
<laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Said, without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. I like how my character... And it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle like... decks. <laughs> no, no, or like Tav. Wait, how does Tav do in Baldur's Gate? Tav is like... <laughs> That's my character as well. I should have named her Tav. I just knew it. I just knew it. We must see the navigator as well. Oh no. No, 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 no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, she it's sounds eye familiar. Must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Is there your party when Shaq consists of several characters? Okay. Save here. Save them. Um. It seems to me like uh, if um, after the um, the prologue in Wrath of the Righteous, there was a uh, respect, a character respect um, opportunity, right? So you know, maybe after we can uh, complete the tutorial, we, we might be able to uh, respect our character. So in that case, I'll keep her. Uh, if not, then you know, I will think. I will read more about the backgrounds and all of that classes. Uh, so far, so good. But we just started the game, and yeah, this is a this is the first Warhammer uh, 40k game that I've ever played, and I I am really liking it. Like I'm. I like I like this setting. I like this universe. Uh, I mean, it's brutal, but like, come on, Fallout is brutal too, and I fucking love Fallout. Fallout, you're liking them playing it. Discovering the universe is fun. It's a yeah, I bet, I bet. Thank you guys for being so kind to me and like not being mean to a new person, to a new player, and not like being gatekeepy or anything. But this means a lot. This means a lot because starting a new uh, series is always like I, I've, I'm, I'm overthinking like how are the fans of the series gonna, you know, gonna take me. Uh, thank you, thank you for being so so sweet and kind for explaining things, for not trolling me. <laughs>